the formula for the accounting rate of return is to take the average annual net income. I'm going to give you a second to write this down. The accounting rate of return is to take the average annual net income, average annual net income, divided by either the initial investment or the average investment. This is where you've got to be real careful. I'll show it to you in this multiple choice in just a second. Okay, so the formula for the accounting rate of return is the average annual net income, not cash flow. Remember we said first three use cash flow after taxes. Accounting rate of return is called accounting because you use the accounting number net income. Average annual net income divided by either the initial investment or the average investment. Okay, let's go back to Gravina now. So Gravina is going to invest $6,000. The income is going to be $300. What's the question? What's the question? What is the accounting rate of return on the initial increase in required investment? The initial increase in required investment is $6,000. So if we go back to our formula, our accounting rate of return is the Average annual income of $300 divided by the initial investment of $6,000. So average annual income, $300, initial investment, $6,000. This is going to be 5%, and the answer is going to be A. answer is going to be A.